Yeah. Okay. So, here's the first law is this. Delta U, write this down if you don't know it. Delta U represents the total energy of the system. The total energy of the system. Q and W represent the flow of energy in or out of the system. So if I drew it, I would draw it like this. Delta U is the total energy in your system. And Q and W are the heat or work. So Q is heat, W is work. That flow. So Q and W represent flow of energy. Delta U is just energy within. Delta U will come from three factors that you learned about. There's other factors as well. Potential energy contributes to delta U. Kinetic energy can contribute to delta U. And thermal energy can contribute to delta U. So potential, kinetic, and thermal. Uh, should be on your text. OK, Q is heat. W is work. Uh, work in this chapter is given by the following formula. There's other formulas for, for it. But usually chemical work is P delta V work. OK, so that means you can say delta U is Q minus P delta V, another way to write it. And what you should have done in your class is say, hey, what happens at constant volume? That AKA delta V equals 0 if you're constant volume. So that means delta U equals Q, because the PDV term will go away. And specifically, since it's a constant volume, to remind us of that, we put a little V by the Q. That means heat flow at constant volume. OK, then we do a second case. That was case one, constant volume. They say, hey, for fun, let's do constant pressure, or delta P equals 0. Case two, so now delta U equals, now we'll just call this QP to remind ourselves it's heat flow with constant pressure. And nothing's going to happen to the work term. It'll look as is. We make the following, this is pure definition. QP is defined as enthalpy. QP is defined as pure definition. That's it. So now we just write, you can write this however you want. You can move things around or whatever. This is just the first law written in a different way, at constant pressure. Our, our world tends to be a constant pressure system, so this is normal. It turns out that P delta V is usually a negligible term, so usually internal energy equals enthalpy. Okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, so usually this will be kind of a concept sort of question or a simple calculation. The other thing you'll want to be familiar with, if heat I'll draw it like this. Let's say here's our system. If Q is going into the system, is that positive or negative? That's positive. So remember that. If it's going out, it's negative. OK. If work is done on the system, is that positive or negative? Yeah, it's positive. Imagine, if somebody does work on you, you should be happy. If you do work, work by the system, that's a negative experience. Okay. So, that's it. Usually the questions will be either conceptual or, uh, or they'll give you so, so much heat into the system, the, the system does work, whatever you add it up to find delta U. So all you have to do is get your signs correct. 